Hello there, I'm here today with uh, a steer tire off my John Deere and uh, I had a something protrude into the tread so it's like no big deal so I uh, initially had plugged it with the standard plug and tool kit stuff which I have plenty of uh, that didn't work so well so I ended up dismounting the tire obviously from the rim initially and <coughs> excuse me I used a uh, patch with the glue heated it let it sit overnight uh, to make sure it was completely dried out uh, that didn't seem to work either because the tire would still leak down uh, over about a two-week period so I had uh, pondered what was the best way to fix this and make it permanent without really a mess and extremely effective and the one product that came to my mind that seals pretty much everything on the planet as far as automotively speaking per se is Permatex the right stuff now this here is the one minute gasket version uh, it does set up really fast it probably takes about uh, 24 hours maybe for it to fully cure but uh, obviously it's a lot easier if you dismount your rim from the tire uh, it just makes it easier and then I'm gonna turn the tire here and I'm gonna shine the light to show what I did here hopefully you can see where I basically spread it around that area uh, the pin the the hole was uh, about in the center I just wanted to make sure I had full coverage so that way there's no leaks so if you're looking for something that will seal your leaky tire and you know specifically where it's leaking from a little uh, soap and water normally will pinpoint no pun intended there uh, the leak from your tire but I would strongly recommend using Permatex the right stuff uh, it's not cheap at the auto stores but if you use it for a lot of automotive applications uh, it's a phenomenal product uh, Walmart's probably the cheapest they do actually sell it it comes in a tube and it's uh, under six, uh, no correction, it's like just under $9. So hopefully this has been helpful and uh, obviously I'm sure there's plenty of videos on how to remove your rim and reinstall it. I know how to do that, been doing it for years. So other than that, I hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot and have a good day.